Hi, I'm Jason with 3D Printing Canada, and today we're going to show you how to use Cura for slicing, and we're going to slice a model in vase mode and print it on the Creality Ender 3. So I've already opened Cura, and we're going to load up a model. I'm choosing a model off of Thingiverse, in this case the Joola vase. You can see the Thingiverse ID at the top. Uh, even if a model comes in solid, uh, don't worry about that too much. When you choose uh, Spiralize Outer Contour, it will hollow out the item for you. Let's load this up. Choose Solid. And switch to Solid View. There we go. So now you can see what it's going to look like. The red areas indicate overhangs. Um, those should be fine with those supports. We'll give it a shot. I find it easiest to go through the settings here by searching. Uh, I always go up here and configure the setting visibility and check them all to turn them all on. And then you can access everything in this menu here. I'm going to look for speed, just see what that's set to. We're printing at 0.2 millimeter layer heights. Uh, retraction is not going to really be much of a concern since there are really no retracts, it's one constant flow around the perimeter. Speed 60 millimeters a second, that's fine. And let's check that spiralize. This is also known as vase mode. Spiralize outer contour is checked. And then if we prepare, we'll be able to see in layer view at the top, instead of solid view, we'll be able to see exactly what it's gonna look like printed layer by layer. And we can see that, it's kind of hard to tell from here. There we go. We can see that it's a, it's a hollow vase. All right. And it says it's gonna take about two hours and 30 minutes. Um, many of you will know that that's horribly inaccurate. And let's rename this something a little more reasonable here. We'll just call this Jula Vase Ender 3. And two hours, I don't really have that much time, so I'm going to scale it down, put it about 70%, and then re-slice. A little better, one hour, 26 minutes. It'll probably be closer to two hours or so. So we insert the SD card. In this case, I don't have an SD card handy, so I'll just save it to file, throw it in my downloads here. Change the name on me. There we go, save. So now throw that on the SD card, pop it in the printer, and let's get started. There you have it, 
a vase made on the Creality Ender 3, and you got a little taste of what it's like in Cura and how to enable spiralized outer contour, otherwise known as vase mode. Remember, like, subscribe, and ring the bell to get notified when we upload more content. And leave a comment down below to let us know what you'd like to see in the future. Thanks for watching.